my lovelies welcome back to my channel for those of you guys that are new welcome my name is pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what i do now as i promised you guys that i was going to be more proactive on my youtube channel so if you guys are new definitely hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up as well as hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified as soon as they go up as i promised you guys i am going to be bringing thousands of spells for you guys this is going to be in all categories, business, money, finances, career, health, protection, bullying, everything. I've been getting a lot, a lot of feedback from you guys on Instagram, Snapchat. If you guys don't follow my other social medias, I highly encourage you guys to do so because that's how I, you know, connect with all of my followers and my subscribers on there. And any questions you guys have, it's easier for me to answer to you guys. So definitely follow us on our other social medias. Now, like I promised, I'm going to show you guys a spell that is not only extremely powerful, but it can be as simplistic or as elaborate as you wish, okay? I'll tell you guys step by step, but this spell is particular for those of you guys that just have, you're dealing with someone, a partner, a lover, someone that just doesn't want to commit, or that they are giving you hot and cold. Now, as always, I always give you guys the notion of understanding these types of workings is ideal for those of you guys that have been in a connection or relationship. This is not for those of you guys that just met a person. This is not for those of you guys. And the reason I'm giving a forewarning is because it can be extremely powerful that things can get a bit out of hand, okay? Now, like I said, be mindful. You know, I'm giving you guys all the tools, all the um, recipes, right, to make things happen in your life, but also be mindful. Don't just do this, you know, to everyone you meet um, because it, it can get really crazy. Anyways, with that disclosure, moving on. Now, for those of you guys that are dealing with a boss, a coworker, someone that is just making your life a living hell, you can also implement the spell. I will give you guys the step-by-steps. Again, however you want to build this spell, you're able to. If you use every single ingredient and do as I say, you will get amazing results in a very quick time, okay? You can also do this to an ex-partner or someone if you have children and there is, you know, child support or custody or they're just going out of their way to one-up you or they're going out of their way to make it really difficult for you you can also do this spell particularly for those situations now again if you've been dealing with someone let's say for over six months and they are giving you the hot and cold they still don't want to commit they don't want to put a name on the relationship you can also do this okay like I said, it is extremely powerful, so you guys be mindful. Now, if you guys subscribe to my channel, like I said, I will be bringing you guys a whole bunch of spells that are I'm going to be doing for beginners as well as intermediate as well as experts. I will be implementing a lot of spell work that has to do with Jupiterian magic or planetary magic, so you guys keep an eye out for that. Um and other types of spells where you can implement working with certain spirits for those of you guys that are interested. So again, let's get to the nitty gritty. What are you going to need? You're going to need a white, a white piece of paper. Now, keep in mind, this is a two-step process. I'm going to show you guys the very beginning. I'm doing this for one of my clients. This is the ultimate last step. Um, of course, it's ritualized for my clients that get personalized spell work. So I'm showing you guys the... Uh, I would say close to the end of the spell work for my client. But like I said, you guys can do this and you will you will get amazing results. Now you're going to need a white piece of paper. You're going to be needing a red marker. Now, if you're doing this for a boss or you're doing this for an ex partner that it, you know, that you're sharing custody with the kids and they're just being assholes about it, you can also use red marker or a black marker. Okay red particularly if this is a love connection you're also going to be needing some sugar anyways you're going to need some roses again if you're doing this for an ex-partner 
or you're doing this for your boss, you want to also integrate roses. Why? Because um, what you're doing is you're creating almost like a you're dominating them, but you're also wanting to raise their receptiveness to you. So roses are always going to do the trick. You're also going to be needing some sugar. I mean, sugar, some honey. You're also going to be needing some spearmint. Some spearmint leaf and some catnip. Now, if you're doing this and you are a guy, yes, men can also do this. Instead of using the catnip, what you're going to be using is you're going to be using either thyme or you're going to be using um, uh, John the Conqueror root. So if you're a man and you're doing this, let's say for your partner and she's a female, you're going to be using John the Conqueror root instead of using the catnip. The catnip is particular for those that are females that are doing this. It doesn't matter the sex. You could, it could be same sex or if you're doing it, obviously, to the opposite sex. OK, now, if you are a woman and you're doing this, let's say for your boss, because they're just a piece of shit, then you want to integrate exactly what I'm telling you on this video. OK. All right, so you're going to need the spearmint. You're going to need the catnip. You're also going to be needing a little bit of hibiscus, okay? Hibiscus flour. Now, the most important ingredient in this spell is going to be your morning urine. So, once you watch this video, you decide this video or this spell is particularly to what I'm looking for, and you decide you're going to move forward. The next day, when you wake up the first piss of your day, you're going to keep that, and that's what you're going to be using in this spell, okay? Very important. Do not try to do this if like you forgot in the morning and you're so desperate that you want to do it. So you decide to do, you know, the second, third or fourth, <laughs> I don't know, piss of the day. It's not going to work, you guys. You have to make sure that you don't skip that step. OK. All right. Why are we using sugar and honey? Obviously, we're wanting to create the energy of love and devotion, right? The catnip for females is always to lure or to bring in and also creates attraction and desire. Now, the spearmint, to remove any unwanted thoughts or ideas that they may have of you that are negative, it gives it a soothing, almost healing type of energy. For those of you guys that are toxicas or toxic out there, <laughs> this is going to help them see you in a very positive light. OK, now. The hibiscus obviously lust and desire now also integrating cinnamon, I forgot to mention cinnamon, obviously to facilitate it, to make it happen quicker, to bring in the passion, the desire. Why are we using urine? Urine throughout centuries has been used in the practice for many things. The most prominent is domination, domination of your enemies, domination of those that try to manipulate you or that try to one-up you or that try to, um, you know, have you basically at their beck and call. This is going to empower you, not only empower you, but it's going to give you that upper hand of knowing that their desire ultimately is going to be to want to make you happy. So their desire to want to you know, maintain that harmonious, harm, uh, harmonious connection in the relationship. Um, that's the reason why we're using it. Again, like I said, urine throughout centuries has been used for many things. If you guys didn't know, it can also be used to break hexes and curses. We'll be doing a video about that later on. So you guys stay tuned for all of these new videos that are going to be coming out for you guys. Now, side note. Another ingredient that I'm going to be using here is garrapata. Um, and what is what is this in, in English? It's called ticks extract. 
Now, the reason why we use this is because obviously, one, I'm doing this for a client. You don't have to use it, but if you really want to amp it, you want to get your hands on uh, that extract. Why? Because it's literally like a leech that sucks in your blood. That, what does that mean? That means that they're going to be like a leech, craving, wanting, desiring only you. So that's the reason why we're using this. Now, the most important ingredient here, obviously, it being what? Your urine. Now, if you're doing this for, let's say, a boss, you want to integrate the sugar, the honey, uh, the spearmint, and you want to skip the part of the catnip or the hibiscus flower. Um, stick with just sugar, roses, the honey, and obviously your urine, okay? That keeps it simplistic and you're going to have domination over them with the sugar and the honey integrated. You'll start to notice that they become much more receptive or give you preference. Uh, if you're doing this for an ex-lover or someone that is just, you know, that you have kids with and they're just making it really difficult, you want to use the roses, you want to use the sugar, the honey, and the hibiscus or catnip. Either one doesn't matter. Um, and the reason for this is because you also want to have them think of it as like trying to keep you or please you, keep you happy. But at the same time, there is an innate desire there to feel some type of attraction towards you, which some of you guys are like, I don't need that. You know, I just want to be amicable with my ex. Unfortunately, if you're dealing with the guy, it's important for them to like you in order to make it easier. If there's a lot of anger and animosity, they're not really going to, they're going to be very stuck in their ego. So again, you want to break that shit down, use the catnip, use the hibiscus and the roses, okay? All right, so let's get to the nitty gritty. What are you going to do? You're going to get yourself a white piece of paper. You're going to cut out the edges. Why do we cut out the edges? Because... We are not using machine paper. You want to put the energy of you in this paper, okay? All right, so once that's done, you're going to put your person's name or your boss's name. Uh, we're going to say, um, let's just say Edward Doe, all right? You're gonna write down their first name, last name, and if this is for a partner, you're gonna use their date of birth, okay? Their date of birth. If you're doing this for a boss or you're doing this for your ex, and I mean, I'm sure you would have their date of birth, but if you don't, you can then write down their number, their telephone number, so. Let's just say like that. All right, so it's going to look like this. Edward Doe, date of birth. If you don't have their date of birth, you would write down their number. Let's say you've been dating this person for about four months and you don't have their date of birth um, and they just don't want to commit or they don't want to make it official, write down their telephone number, okay? Once that is done, now this is optional. You don't have to. Um... If you're a practitioner, you guys already know Cordero Manso is a spray that we use to have dominions over people, over energy, situations, circumstances, so you would spray some there. Once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to spit on the paper. Once you spit on the paper, you're going to fold the paper towards you once, turn it to the right, always to the right. When we're trying to raise vibration, it's always to the right and towards us. If you want something away from you, you're going to turn it left and you're going to turn it away from you. Okay, so in this situation, doesn't matter if it's like for your ex-baby daddy or if it's for your boss, it's towards you because you're bringing them, you're bringing them towards you to be softer, to be more agreeable, to be more receptive of you. Okay, so you're going to turn it towards you, then turn it again and turn it towards you. There you go. All right, we have that out the way. I'm going to put that to the side because I'm not using that. I'm actually doing this for a client. So here we go. Let's get, oh, I forgot to mention to you guys, which I'm sure common sense, right? But you guys are going to need a jar. I will make sure you guys can click the description and you'll be able to see all the ingredients that you're going to need for this. Let me bring 
the most important ingredient here. Give me one second, you guys. Give me one second while I fetch. Now in this process, you also want to make sure that you are burning incense, preferably dragon's blood. Why? Because we use dragon's blood for domination. Give me one second, you guys. Oh, my spirits. Assist. Empower. Strengthen. All right. Uh, yeah, so dragon's blood to have complete domination of their mind, body, and spirit. Okay? All right. So once you have cleansed, once you have cleansed, um, once you've cleansed your jar you're gonna then drop in their information then what we're going to do let me put this to the side really quick because i do want to add a bit more all right all right so the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate. Okay. So once we're done with that, what we're going to do now is we're going to add some of the catnip. Now, you guys don't need a lot of the spearmint. You... Be abundant with your catnip, but with the spearmint, you don't need very much of it. However, you're doing this, again, like I said, if you're doing this for a boss or you're doing this for, you know, your ex, to be amicable, you want to really put a good amount of the spearmint. Why? Because we want to remove any negativity that they're holding towards you. Okay? We want to pretty much remove that animosity so that they can be much more receptive to you so that they can be more amicable so you don't need very much but if you know that you guys do have a bit of history and it's a bit toxic then definitely be more abundant with your spearmint okay all right so once that's done we're going to integrate the hibiscus now, side note, hibiscus is a bit hard. What I do is I break it, crush it. As I crush this, I crush your ego. As I crush this, I crush your ego and do it with strength. As I crush this, I crush your ego. All right. All right, so once that is done, we're going to then add a bit of rose petals. Now, obviously, roses love, desire, lust, beauty. And take your time when doing this, you guys. And keep in mind, I, you know, I always tell you guys, when you're doing any type of spell work, it is crucial and important to be focused and determined on what you're doing. So make sure that you ground yourself before beginning this. Make sure that you're not feeling desperate, that you're not feeling out of control. You have to feel empowered when doing any type of spell work because you're integrating that into your work. So as an example, in this process, I would be like focusing my energy in the rose representation of the love that you will feel for me. The constant desire in your eyes, you will always see me beautiful. You will always see me desirable. You will always see me beautiful and graceful. Okay. All right. 
All right, once that is done, then we're going to integrate the sugar and be abundant with the sugar. I will put on the description box below the chant that you must do for those of you guys doing this for love or for those of you guys doing this for uh, your boss or your ex-partner, okay? All right. So once you do that, you guys can st uh, skip this part. All right, once that is done, then we're going to, you guys excuse, I forgot to turn off my phone. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to add some of the sugar. All right. All right, there we go. Oh, I did this a little. All right, so once that is done, let me take this. Let me see, give me one second, you guys. Sorry if you guys hear noise in the background. I have family over. All right, so once this is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to then add your urine, okay? Now, you want to take your time. You want it to go all the way down. Okay, so that you can fill the cup with your urine, all right? That's going to be very important. And like I said, you cannot skip the part of the first morning urine. There's a reason for it, you guys. If you skip that, you're not going to see quick or amazing results. If you do, an example for those of you guys doing this for... Um, a boss and let's say that boss just goes out of their way to make your life miserable they're they're just horrendous people you'll start to notice that you start to have more dominions over them even in, when you express yourself or when you have something to say you'll notice that even if you restrain yourself a little bit they'll you know they'll see that you want to express something and they'll be like oh tell me like what's on your mind like they will become so receptive to you that the turnaround is going to be very quick, okay? All right, so let me get a let me get a little stick so that I can continue making this. I'm gonna add a bit more. lovely so once that is done then you're going to add the cinnamon let me move this out the way real quick all right so it's going to look something like this all right Give me one second. All right, my lovelies, once that is done, what we're going to do 
we're going to empower it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I bless and consecrate, going clockwise to raise the energy. And you're going to say, as the sun sets, the spell has begun. All this work and energy is within magic bound. Hear my plea, hear my call, my desire come to me. As the days and the nights unfold, your heart whispers the calling of my name to be with me, to be around me, to need me and want me. You shall find no peace or sleep until you come crawling, begging at my feet to please me and make me happy is all that you can want to be loyal and committed once and for all. I make a calling to the spirits of love for my love and heart is true and pure. With each striking of the clock of midnight, your love and want for me will intensify. You see, you see me all that you want. You see me as all that you desire and need. As I will this, so shall this be. Okay? You're going to do this chant three times. Once that is done, what you're going to do now is... You're going to close it up. And All right, my lovelies. Remember that I told you it was a two-step process, right? So what we're going to do now is you're going to get a pot with water. You're going to boil it. Once it's been boiled, what you're going to do is you're going to let it sit for a little bit so that it can cool down. Once it's cooled down, what you're going to do is you're going to integrate the jar with all of its contents in the water. Why are we doing this? You're gonna leave it sitting there for five minutes. The heat is going to heat this up. It's gonna facilitate and make the process and the result much quicker, all right? So again, once you're done, once you've done the enchantment, once you've done, um, once you've recited the chant, you're going to seal it up. You're going to put it in a pot that has water that you boiled. You're going to let it sit for a little bit. Once that's done, you're going to put the jar with the lid. Do not open the lid. You're going to put it with the lid inside and you're going to let it sit there for five minutes. Once the five minutes are up, then you're going to take it out and it's done. The spell has begun. So then after that, what you're going to do is you're going to place this under your bed or on the side where you sleep. And you're going to leave it there undisturbed. Do not allow anyone to touch it or see it. If your partner comes around you or if he's spending or she's spending the night, make sure to put it under your bed so they won't see it. As time progresses and you start to see them draw closer to you you start to see them constantly have the desire and want to be around you once you get the results once they've you know made it official or you know uh told you exactly what it is that you were expecting from this obviously the commitment or whatever um once you get the results what you can do is you have two options one which is the option i would prefer i keep i would keep this in my altar the reason why is because every time you start to notice that it starts to weather, meaning that you start to see the partner draw back a little bit, uh, maybe not as hot and heavy anymore, you can always do this again, the, the, he the heating of the pot. So you don't have to disturb it. Of course, as time progresses, it will start to dry up. If it does start to dry up, remember, just get the urine from the first day um, from the first, basically the first piss of the day, you want to add a little bit more, then you're going to close it. You're going to boil this pot with water. Once it's been boiled, you're going to let it sit for a little bit. Then you're going to integrate the jar into the water and you're going to leave it like that for five minutes. After the five minutes, you will pull it out, shake it a bit, make sure not to burn yourself. And again, place it back into your altar or under your bed. You will notice that every time you do this, as it progresses, it becomes much stronger. Okay? So again, that's option one. Uh, you keep it somewhere where you know you can always grab it, do this process, because keeping in mind, 
when you're boiling the water, what's happening is you're putting pressure on this. And when you're putting pressure on this, it is, think of it as the mind of the person, right? Um, it's going to empower and strengthen the spouse. So that's the reason why it's so important. This is why instead of bearing this, I prefer the alternative method, which is to keep it by my altar in case I need it again. I don't have to redo this whole process and just add a bit more urine and it becomes incredibly strong and powerful. Now, option two is, again, like I said, you can always bury it. Whenever we want something that to, for it to be um, long-term, you want to dispose of it, either burying it or putting it on the ground. Okay, my loves? I hope that this gives you amazing results. Come back, let me know what your experience was. Sound off in the comments, and I wish you guys the best. Until then, we will see each other again. Bye.